Hey, thanks for joining me. This is the first of two mini albums made from a pizza box. You can find part one and part three on my channel. I got this paper pad from the Simon Says Stamp February card kit and decided to use a number of pages to finish off this album. Let's start with the outside. This album measures three and a quarter wide by five inches tall. The spine of the book is two inches wide. So I cut each piece at a quarter inch less by width and length for a nice framing effect. That means three inches and one and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches tall. That means three inches by one and three quarter inches for the spine and three inches by four and three quarter inches for the pages. I use a double sided heavy duty tape like score tape to adhere paper to the album. I cut a quarter inch off the length and width for the measurements for each pocket flap too. This one I use the corner chomper to round off the edge at a half an inch. I'll put product links in the description. The back side of this floral paper is this poke dot pattern and I think it complements well. So I use some of the offcuts to decorate the belt hook. I have different sizes of tape. I'll use the thinner one to close the pockets. This will give the pockets more room for cute things. For each of these pages I cut the same as the front, 3 inch by 4 and 3 quarter inch. This gives me three inches of leftover paper for each sheet to use on the pockets. Figuring out which patterns to mix and match together is the fun part. The diagonal cut on these pockets was easy enough to estimate with a pencil and scissors. These pockets are ready to go! Every once in a while when you're crafting you get carried away in thought and make a stupid mistake. Here I thought I had, but luckily to my delight, I just cut the extra bit of the paper. The one I needed was right there. So my decorative plan went uninterrupted and I was able to finish out the pages. If I had had more forethought, I would have done this part right after finishing the album exterior, before the inner pages. I use a piece of foam as cushion to protect the pocket flap in my table. I didn't have the exact right tool for this, so I was inventive with a tong from my cheese knife set. It worked perfectly! Then I threaded through some twine with the intention to hold a lock and key. from this Tim Holtz pack that came with the kit. Again, I'll make sure to link it so you can buy it individually. I just pulled the twine up and threw until the lock and key were perfectly snug. Then I tied a square knot in the back and covered it with a piece of tape for extra security. I had this idea to make Polaroid frames, but as a pocket, so you could put in journal cards or change the pictures. So I cut out a number of lightweight card I already owned at three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch. I scored a quarter inch off the sides and bottom. I pulled out my envelope punch just so I had a nice groove to use for the score lines. You could use anything. 
This would frame out a two by three inch picture nicely. I couldn't find my X-Acto knife, so again, cheese knives to the rescue. I attach them to the pocketless pages, bottom first, and then sides. I had some extra pink and white card I cut at four inches tall to fit the frames. This nifty contraption is a Kodak photo printer. It prints two by threes from my phone and I think it's adorable. It also comes with sticky back printer paper, making it super convenient for paper crafting. I had four different picks of early spring bulbs from early March. I use this Dymo to make my own labels. I decided to name this album First Sign of Spring. And use my photo cards as journal cards. Daffodils are always the first to pop up in this. Crocus always reminds me of the secret garden. And then I have baby daffodils at the base of my peach trees. And some fancy white and yellow daffodils. I added a clip at the back of the book for odds and ends. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and join me again.